once again out there, horror fanatics. Welcome back to the latest episode of Scary Good Eats. I have already shared some of my favorite recipes, so for this video I want to venture outside the box, or the coffin if you will, by doing my first food review. Oh, it's been worn out to death on YouTube already, I know. Could easily be covered by Dame Drops and his super official food reviews, but I would like to add my own little twists. <laughs> For this review, I have a pretty thematic product to show you. We have Count Porcula's Mesquite Bacon. This comes to us from The Bacon Freak. I have included a link to their website down in my description bar. I have used their services before. It's a very good quality website that has a staggering array of bacon products, all of which are of good quality, and their shipping is almost always quite fast. This particular item is one of their holiday-themed bacons. You see, they have themed bacon for every bloody holiday. For Christmas, for Easter, for St. Patrick's Day, and for Halloween. And that is where we get Count Porcula. Now, according to the label here, this bacon was cured with water, salt, sugar, paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, mesquite smoke powder, and sodium nitrate. Now, I'm not quite sure where they thought the whole mesquite part would fit with Halloween, but the garlic powder definitely, I think, fits in, since it's supposed to be a vampire pig. And I might add that the description on their website states that they killed Count Porcula and are shipping you his skin. I suppose that's appropriate for Halloween, but it might not be the best advertising for a food item. <laughs> Although technically, I guess that's what bacon is. Now, uh, this item uh, arrived easily within the space of a week. I'm always quite glad with uh, super fast shipping. And I can say from experience that Bacon Freak are very insistent on their quality. They can also be just a tad insistent on getting feedback. But any company that wants to survive on the internet needs feedback and good feedback. I'm quite confident I'll be able to give them good feedback for this. So, without further ado, let's get cooking. All right, it is time to start cooking Count Porcula here, his uh, skin, according to Bacon Freak. Uh, you can do this, you know, on the grill, you can do it in the microwave, in the oven, but really, to me, there's no replacing the uh, frying pan experience with bacon. Ooh, another one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> You know, you know how good it is when it sizzles up like that. That's a good layer of uh, fat coming out there. Now, bacon doesn't take long to free to uh, to cook. It depends on how well done you want it. Uh, I'm kind of in between. I don't like it so crispy that it's uh, rock hard. I like it so soft and soggy. A nice tender crispness is just fine by me. <laughs> Let's give these a little turnover. Now you can see they went very heavy with their seasoning on this. It's uh, slightly altered the color, not thoroughly, but uh, I'm hoping it won't melt off as it's cooking and that it'll maintain the, uh, the flavors that they want it to have. So uh, we're going to give this just a few minutes and we'll be back. Alright, as you can see that is just crisping away gorgeously. That's one of the great things about bacon, when you turn it over you get that spectacular visual effect of all that fat glistening and crisping along it. These look just about done as I would like them, so I'm going to take them off and put them on a plate with a paper towel to let them cool for a few minutes. Do not eat bacon right out of the pan. If you do, you are a fool. You will melt your esophagus, you will melt your tongue, you will melt your insides. It's like Ash swallowing that hot water in Army of Darkness to kill the little mini version of himself that he swallowed. And it's just as futile. Now, one little tip that I want to give uh, any aspiring uh, kitchen fanatics out there. You don't want to just throw this fat down the drain. Look, I know ours is a fat-shaming society. But uh, bacon fat can be a real treasure in your kitchen. You can use it to cook just about anything. Uh, you can make uh, some fantastic vegetables with bacon fat, actually. I myself am very partial to uh, Brussels sprouts cooked in some bacon fat with just a little bit of red pepper flake. Be very gentle with this. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Take a look at that. That is, as Gordon Ramsay would say, that is gold dust in any chef's kitchen. So, the obvious proof of any bacon is the flavor. So, we'll be back in the taste test in a minute. So, as I said, the ultimate proof of any good bacon is the taste test. So, here we are. Let's try Count Porcula. That's good bacon. Cooked into a good crisp. God, I'm good. You can definitely detect all of the uh, herbs and spices they use. But it's not overpowering. This is definitely uh, thicker than your typical store bought bacon like Oscar Mayer, which, by the way, is not a bad thing. <laughs> But um, the flavor here is subtle. It's not overpowering. Um, maybe they could have gone just a little bit stronger with the garlic, the mesquite, but uh, I'm not going to complain because this is still very, very good bacon. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I'm sure any other bacon lover will as well. And uh, as I said, let's not be a fat-shaming society anymore. Let's embrace some of our inner pig, if you will. <clears throat> and I wouldn't recommend eating bacon every meal. But we certainly don't need to fear it the way we're told to. And considering this is the United States of America, where we have bacon flavored um, ice cream, bacon perfume, and what have you, we obviously don't. But for some reason, we still fear fat. <laughs> so this was Count Porcula. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I'm enjoying eating this.